This is the Old Timer Centre and my name is Philip Tarrant. I'm going to be talking to you through this 2010 Mercedes C220 CDI. It's a 2010 model. It's done 109,000 kilometres and it's an avant-garde with a whole range of options. The first option is memory electric seats on the driver's and passenger side. It also has navigation. Bluetooth and a Harman Kardon sound system. I think that when they were given a list of potential options, the, uh, the people who bought this car knew must have ticked every box. It's also got Xenon lights, daytime running lights, it's even got an electric boot. Alabaster white with black leather interior is a great colour combination to have, especially for a wagon. Uh, my wife used to have a white E-Class station wagon and it was great because it just it always looked clean. It kept cool. And uh, yeah, that was actually a particularly good car. So I'll just press a button on the boot. It opens up. It's even got the plastic cover in the back. So if you're throwing things in the boot, it doesn't tear or damage the carpet. I'm not saying it's had a dog in there, but the other thing is if you've had a dog, obviously they just jump onto the mat as opposed to all the dog hair getting into the, into the carpet. It's got rear luggage cover. It's even got the blinds. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Might be easier to see there. So at the click of a button, we'll close the boot. Um, so this has got the four-cylinder turbo diesel engine, which is very reliable. So that's what's so good about this car. It's a turbo diesel. It's done 109,000 kilometres. It's white. It's got every option. Um, it's got an impeccable service history. Actually, it's not impeccable. It's, uh, it's what I would call a perfect service history. The reason why it's perfect is because every single service has been done at a Mercedes-Benz dealer up to date. When I say up to date, I don't mean the past year. It was serviced quite literally 2,000 kilometres ago. It's got climate control. Um, and these diesels, despite the fact that this has been serviced very well, you know, the diesels, you can push them a bit further between servicing. Um, whereas, say, it was a C250 or 200 from the same era, uh, petrol... Um, they really must be serviced every 10,000 kilometres because they, um, when they went to the turbo petrol engine um, they had a high pressure fuel system and the engines run very hot and they need to be very well serviced the diesels aren't so fragile um, so we've gone through pretty much everything memory electric seats, Harman Kardon, electric boot Electric mirrors fold in. It's also got navigation. The sunroof. So a quick look here. It's a diesel. Yeah, good. So it's a diesel. Um, the later model diesels had what's called Ad Blue. The biggest struggle for manufacturers, especially in Australia and all over the world, is emissions. Emission standards. They get more and more difficult. Um, I think Volkswagen know better than anyone. That's why they had to pretend that their cars, their diesel cars, were far better from the, for the environment than they actually were. So because they keep trying to get the emissions down, um, they've got what's called Ad Blue. So usually they have another cap here, which is blue cap. And so every few times you fill up the car, you need to put Ad Blue in it as well. And that just reduces the emissions coming out of the exhaust. Anyway, this car doesn't have it, which I think is a good thing it's a bit of a pain but uh, if you do have any specific questions about this car 
please give us a call. We're contacts one oh two nine five six nine double nine double nine. You can ask myself, my name's Philip, or you can speak to Richard. We have in-house finance. And as you can hear the plane flying over, we're literally 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.